What's the deal with his name? Is it thunder like the heaven when it's going to burst and rain? Or is it crack when you're got a headache and his, his thunder noise cracks your head? Make up your mind, man! Hello folks, today we're taking a look at Transformers the Filling 30 Generations Thundercracker! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at packaging, because it's just second packaging I've got. So here he is, here's Thundercracker, you're looking all Thundercrackery in this Filling 30 2000. 14 ages 5 plus up, and here's uh, yeah, here does stand the cracker Decepticon, and here's his tech spec. Yes, 7 in strength, intelligence 9, speed, endurance 6, rank 5, courage 5, fire blast 8, and skill 7. So, yeah. Much all the rest say, so you can see here. And up here is, and if I can take my camera up, and here you can see Thundercracker. Excuse, excuse me for light. And here is this obligatory product shots text. If you can't possibly read it because I try to open it, but these things here, they wouldn't be nice to me. But, let's get to the... And we'll just... And here he is in his Cybertronian jet form, and we'll just take this away. And bring Thundercracker in. So, yeah. Pretty cool looking Seeker. Yeah, I actually like this guy. I like the blood red eyes up here, if you can see it through the camera. See the lights up a little bit. He has some light piping back here. Up there. It's not pretty big. Um, he has a, a cool, it has two nice Decepticon logos here and here, and it pretty looks much like the G1 from the Cracker, but this is a FOC. Hmm. Arms is on a swivel joint. These are on a swivel joint. Head swivel joint. His legs sticking, yeah, they're on what they are now called. And you can actually move his feet, look. To give him more little accuracy when he stands up. And he has his two guns, a neutron assault rifle, which can spin. You can also detect... Make them two into a big, powerful gun. And make Thundercracker... <sighs> Possibly hold it, I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't work. There's two holes, so you can only put them on his arms. Like this. Stupid hole. Look, now he has an under, under his arms. Pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Now, let's get to the transformation. If we can take this away. To start off, we pull these in, like that. Flip the head around, 360, to this side. Bring his, uh, what they're now called, and do this. It's, it's just like the same thing to... The Transformer Cybertron Skywarp, you just pull these up, and it's pretty much like that. And come to the back, we'll, we'll just spin to take this around. Oops, my bad. We'll blooper there. We'll take these, spin them around. If we can. No, wait, you're not supposed to spin them. My bad again. Oh my god, no. And we'll flip his hand. Just do the same thing over here. And no blooping this time. Hear that? Fingers. 
No blue pink this time. What now? Now what? Oh, worked. False alarm. Just a false alarm. Now we're half done. Just get to the legs. Fold this up. And we'll just plug him into these pegs here. Like that. And that. And here we have fold these wings out. And here we have sky open this cyber trillion mo mode. Just mode. Just put it on the table. Take my camera down. Yeah. It's a pretty cool looking fighter. Yeah. Uh oh he also has a visible head syndrome. You can even see the face in there if you can. I just yeah, it's a little bit dark there, but you can possibly see it. And I don't like the. I don't, just just a big gapping hole here. Just don't like it. I just flip his feet in like that, so it won't be much more showing. Uh, we'll give him more accuracy that he had in uh, War for Cybertron. He didn't appear in Fall of Cybertron, but you can make him in a customization mode, just like Skywarp. He just appeared in. War for Cybertron and on FOC, so yeah, you can actually make these two in customi customization, but all you have to do is just use Starscream Seeker mode and just take the color on him, just take black and uh, uh, black and purple for Skywarp and blue, yeah, if we can't find a dark blue and black for him, yeah. <coughs> I'll get the cockpit. He yeah, since this is a era of Cybertron, it has a seed inside it. I don't just don't know why. I mean, the humans didn't even exist during the War of Cybertron, and we can actually put his gun. His gun. His gun fits actually right into these holes. Come on, these holes are pretty tight for this guy. There we go. And we'll just basically do the same thing over here. Oops. Yeah. And now he has his guns. There. You can just attack Autobots from the sky and, like, Hey Autobots, I'm gonna blast you in the right here. And he's done. Yeah. But, yeah. Also, at the bottom as our Vault Matrix, notice that you can actually pull this up and take his guns from the side <coughs> under the wings and combine them as I showed them f as I showed you a little while ago. Super clips. And plug into these two holes here. And pretty, pretty tight holster. Yeah, I think I actually put them inside it, right? And you can put the little triangular thing there. And it looks ridiculous. I mean, hello. What would Megatron say about that? <clears throat> or the, or the Seekers? I don't know. But he was a cool jet, and I just don't like that. When he has the cannons up here in front. But for being a deluxe class, he is pretty, pretty long in his vehicle mode. But it's a cool thing. It's a cool thing that I got is for my birthday yesterday. I actually did this. It looks like he. <laughs> it looks like animated Star Queen with the fence going this side. Okay, so I think that's basically all there is to say. So, subscribe and watch my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.